the one, the only, Boston Lager. Hi everyone, it's Brain Muffin back with another beer review. And I've been reviewing some of the uh, Sam Adams uh, Winter Pack uh, beers. And uh, I had a, several people that didn't like my comments about the Boston Lager. It's the, one of the beers that, of theirs that I like the least. Uh, I said, I believe I said something like it was one of the worst beers that they make. Uh, my check-in on Untapped, and I've had uh, 12 check-ins over the years. I'm averaging a two stars for this beer. And they said, you know what? You really ought to take another look at that while the dogs chew on their bones. So we're going to try and do this. Hey, folks, this is life. So I've had this one in the refrigerator. It was in the, in the garage for a while where it's nice and cold, and it was in the refrigerator a while. So I'm going to enjoy it at the what should be a temperature for a lager. Now, this is the, the perfect pour glass from Sam Adams, and that's what it should look like. This, bought, this glass was designed, supposedly, for this beer. And I'm going to uh, remove any um, conceptions about this. So, it is supposed to be a Vienna-style lager. Now, I'm not going to go look it up on BJCP, so I'm going to assume that this is supposed to be a good Vienna-style lager. Right off the bat, it's not dark enough. It's too golden to be a Vienna-style lager. It doesn't have enough malt aroma to be a Vienna-style lager. And a decent, mass-produced Vienna-style lager, believe it or not, is Negro Modelo. I kid you not. So let's see what we've got. It's the same as any other time I had it. It's semi-clean. It's too bitter, especially on the finish. It's not smooth. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, maybe I'll bump it up to two and a half stars. But... To me, I've had other Vienna style lagers, and actually years ago I had one in Columbus at one of the microbreweries there, and it was fantastic. And this this can't even come close. I mean, it's supposed to be their flagship beer. It's the one they're known for. Five percent is about right. The IBUs are a little high for Vienna style lager, but you know, it's not an award winner. It's nothing to write home about. I like the light. Oddly enough, the Sam Adams light I actually like, but this one, I. I don't know. You guys tell me why you like this beer so much. Have you ever had any other Vienna style lagers that you don't like as well as this, that you would rate this one higher than? Um, I'm sorry, but I've, I've had several and all of them, all of them without exception, are better than this. This, uh, this, this feels too mass produced. It feels too rushed. It doesn't have a good um, malt backbone. It's over. It's bitter, and it's not hop bitterness. It's this kind of off-flavored bitterness that it shouldn't have at all. It's not clean. It doesn't start clean. It doesn't. It's not mid mouth. It's not clean. Uh, Vienna style lagers are supposed to be kind of malty sweet, and they're supposed to be darker. So you know, maybe back in the '70s when Jim Cook started, this was a good beer. But it has not kept up with uh, the craft brewery. In fact, a lot of their beers that they've had over the years, they have not really kept up, which is, I think, why they're losing ground to some of the microbreweries and the craft breweries and why some people don't even consider them a craft brewer anymore. It's kind of in between. It's not just because of size. It's just because he's not doing anything. Now, they are doing some things with some of their lines, but those are the exceptions. Um, but, you know, their, their Christmas beers, I like almost all of them. Very much so. In fact, some of them that I don't make anymore, I really miss. I miss the cherry bock. I miss the cherry chocolate bock. There was a winter lager that was pretty good. But to me, you know, I don't know. You guys tell me why I'm full of crap. Because as far as I'm concerned, this beer is not very good at all. It's mediocre at best. Uh, like I said, I've had it's, it, it's not even to style. It's not malty enough. It's not dark enough. It's not sweet enough. It doesn't have the right... It, to call it a Vienna Lager, to me, it's, you know, if you want to quote the BJCP to me and say this is why it's a Vienna Lager, and uh, granted, I am not being um, an idiot here. I'm really wanting to understand 
how this beer is so freaking popular and how this beer is, you know, let me know. Let me know what I am missing because I really, really want to know. I'm not being patronizing here. I really don't get it. I have not liked this beer for 20 years. I have, I liked the cream stout. I've liked, they had a scotch ale they still make that I like and I'm going to review that soon. I mean, the beers I used to drink back in the 90s when I first got into craft beer, it was almost all Sam Adams stuff. None of it was this. It was uh, their other beers. Uh, it's been too long, I don't remember them all, but definitely the Scotch Ale is great. The Scotch Ale is one of those beers you put in your refrigerator for a few days. When you want to take one out, you let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. You actually want to open it and let it breathe, and that Scotch maltiness just comes flowing out, and it is, uh, to me, it's a very good Scotch Ale, one I haven't had in a long time. And it's, as it warms up, it gets even better. In fact, my own Scotch Ale that I've done, that I, I will review probably soon, uh, I've, I've, that's my model, is that what I remember that beer tasting like and other Scotch Ales that I've had, and I think I missed big time. Uh, the guy that made it for actually likes it, which is great, but I think I can do much, much better. Um, to me, it's like about a three, uh, maybe, maybe if I'm being generous, but I'm also my own worst critic. But I'm going to let this warm up and let it sit out and, and have it over the next half hour or so. i got to do some stuff with the dogs, obviously. we got to get the stuff edited. But, yeah, but see, I also don't understand why Budweiser is popular. I mean, you talk about a horrible, 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 horrible uh, Pilsner example. I mean, it's getting a little better as it warms up, but to me, it has, there's an off, and I don't know if it's me or the beer, but there is definitely an off flavor bitterness that I get on the finish, especially about 15 seconds after the finish, that I have noticed in this beer for 20 years, and it's still there, and that's probably the, my biggest complaint about it. I've had it with food. I've had it by itself. I've had it with, with steak. I've had it with sausages. I've had it with um, delicate foods and not so delicate foods and German style foods and American foods. And I haven't liked it ever. And maybe this is just one beer that I'm just not going to like. And other people are going to like it and we're just going to have to agree to disagree. But please, in the comments or send me a message, tell me why you like this beer. Tell me why you think I'm full of crap. Let's have that discussion, and if it ends up that we're just going to agree to disagree, that's fine too. But at least I'll have more knowledge of what people find in this beer, and maybe I can try and find it. Maybe I'm just being, you know, anti Jim Cook on his flagship beer. I don't know. But let's have that discussion, and let's find out why I'm a problem. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for clicking like. Thanks for subscribing. We've got some new subscribers recently. You got a beer you really want to see me uh, review, want my, my feedback on, let me know. You want to do a collaboration and, and, and discuss a beer live back and forth. Hey, let's work that out too. Just let me know. All right. Thanks. Bye. Hey, I unlocked another badge, and another badge. No. Come here does not mean go backwards. Sit. It's wave to the people. If the people don't believe me, I've got doggies. No. Come here does not mean go backwards. Sit. It's wave to the people. If the people don't believe me, I've got doggies. See, folks, I really do have dogs. Come here, Thomas. This is Tobuscus. Come here. Come here, little cute doggy. Come on. Come here. Put your feet up. Yeah. Nice to say hi to the people. No, stop it. Now, Toby, if I throw this one, will you chase it too? Huh? Come here, Tobuscus. Come here. Come here, Toby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. I want to make sure you're on camera, boy. All right, ready? All right, let's do it.